Girls NES Startup Competition. Applause. We selected the great finalists from a number of candidates. Today, we have nine hottest startups here, so you're lucky. So moreover, we have great people from the world for our judge panel. Let me introduce these 13 judges. The judge chair, Masatoshi Kumagai, director of Japan Association of New Economy. His CEO, GMO Internet Group. Susumu Fujita, Director, Japan Association of New Economy. His CEO, Cyber Agent. And everyone here know former US Ambassador to Japan, John Ruth. He's a Silicon Valley veteran and now he's CEO of Ruth Group the pioneer of woman-focused accelerator, Ari Horie, the founder of Women's Startup Lab. So as you see, already well-known speaker in Japan, investment genius, David Chow from DCM Ventures. After Google, she became a maestro of fashion and created great workplace. Jess Lee from Polyver, a shareholder looked very happy at the previous session, you know. Mr. Smart Money and the originator of the first venture capital blog, David Honick, August Capital. Forbes magazine said, the most powerful woman in startups. Okay, and Miracle from Floodgate, a super angel based in Palo Alto. So, you know now the one of the greatest entrepreneurial events from Scandinavia. Slash founder, Miki Kusi. As you know, the Slash Asia will happen in Tokyo soon. You are lucky to have superstar YouTuber here, Michelle Fan. She founded Ipsy, the beauty product site. We have three gentlemen from influential Japanese corporations. Noriaki Kamei from Asa2DK. Kenichi Higuchi from Dentsu. Kiyohisa Hirano from Daiwa Corporate Investment. It's wonderful, isn't it? Okay, please let me explain a little bit about how today's comp competition goes. Each presentation lasts six minutes. Only six minutes. And speakers, please start your presentation when I say, Hajime! <laughs> okay? So, then, as soon as six minutes pass, the following sound you'll hear. Okay? Then stop it, stop your presentation. No more presentation after this sound, okay? So, um, today's presentation, so, wow. So many people here, look at this. So standing people, okay. So, now, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? The first presenter is 
Kaizen Platform. Hajime. Hi, I'm Kenji Sudo. Please call me Sudo Ken. Let's see. Do you know this book? Toyota Production System, written by Taichi Ono. After reading the book, I was deeply impressed. The book was my motive and trigger to start up. Let's open the page. It's well known that a Ford way achieve a big result in mass production areas. On the other hand, Toyota Production System is aimed at efficient production of the wider variety of products by a single assembly line. This production method focuses on the era where it needs a device file. Now, we are in the internet age. What is the production activity of this internet era? So, the internet service doesn't have a concept of delivery. What's next? New keyword was born. Continuous delivery. So, the, it means uh, update service continuously. We are, now we are building a new production system of this internet era. What does internet product, product provide? The answer is user experience, UX. So we are challenging to uh, give a solution exceeding the limits of continuous delivery. A solution provide the continuous delivery of UX with diversity. One to one. As you know, the continuous improvement means Kaizen. And we are facing, actually, so we are facing a huge potential market at least of $4 billion. But there are obstacles for UX optimization, technical wise, resource wise, and knowledge wise. How can we jump over them? Technology. We have UX optimized engine by audience data integration. Resource, more than 1,000 UI expert network. Knowledge, big data driven customer success, the data from more than 1,000 times of A-B testing. So you can start continuous improvement of UX only if, even, if, even if you have only one person in your marketing team. Here's a quick, quick look of our demo. Only four steps you can start improve your website performance. One, set up our JavaScript tab on your website. Two, our UI expert create an improvement design through our editor. Easy to rely a copy, layout, image, color, and everything like that. All you have to do is a select from a tons of improvement design ideas. That's it. You can start continuous improvement. Let me show you our report view. You can select a better design. Not only that, you can optimize the most efficient design by each audience segmentation. Please look at a Japan Airline case, Kaizen platform is very unique. We can give you a recommendation by audience data running automatically and providing a better performance. Let me show you a map. We already started business Japan and US both side and we had more than 120 worldwide enterprise customers and now our customers expand in Europe and Australia. Thanks to all your support, we got great traction only within two years from funding. Full-time revenue growth, 70 top class talent, and 120 customers, 1,400 UI experts from 40 countries, and more than $100 million expect. We have assembled a great experience management team. We are all XC class and executive class experience members and our team is already a global one. Members from Sweden, Bolivia, Russia, Germany, and so on. Furthermore, 
our big vision is not only on the website improvement. We are willing to improve the, every touch point of US, which is now totally fragmented, such as a search, display, social, video, email, native apps. We will expand end-to-end -end UX optimization for all marketers living through this internet era. We pass you to provide the best experience for everyone. And Kaizen the world. We are Kaizen platform. We love Kaizen. Thank you. That was an excellent presentation. Sorry, I'm back in into the Japanese all of a sudden. Well, uh, you are you know, having you know, big uh, enterprising customers in many NGOs, and uh, I think uh, you are having good customer satisfaction. How about the you know, performance results? Yes, uh, recently conversion rate and you know, in you know, actually 20% around. So you know, we have uh, you know, many uh, successful you know, customers like that. So uh, I hope you heard me, and please join me. I hope you try to try him out. Please keep an eye on him. Um, from Kaizen Platform, uh, we have just received presentation. Thank you. Okay, we'll continue on. Is Factorio. Hi, I'm Toshio Yamada from Factorio. How do you spend your days? The morning rush hour? This is common in Tokyo. Boring clothes, no personality. People consume just efficiently. Aren't you tired with such a monotonous life? Let's have a life with an authentic value. Let me show a few examples of the new wave from the United States. Shine Nora is a new brand born in just Reuters. Expert skills from auto industry create the attractive watches. Blue Bottle Coffee from California opened their shops in Tokyo last month. They, they have a unique rule. The syrup coffee using beans roasted within 48 hours so you can enjoy coffee at its peak of flavor. They spend a lot of time for each customer. That's anti-efficient. Uh, anti, uh, it's a very different from the mass production, mass consumption. Now, Consumer need, uh, uh, consumers are looking for the new authentic value. The, uh, the previous examples of the, uh, the new wave with these three points, anti-efficiency, special skills, local futures. Focusing on these three points, factorial create the new authentic value for changing consumer needs. Do you think the major brands are authentic? Here, I show you the brand business gimmick. Do you know the actual cost of Nike Air Max? Just four dollars? In other words, you pay for illusion and not pay for the product itself. We are, we, uh, Factoria proudly Cost, uh, spend more cost for the better product, but does not for liquidation sales and not for expensive advertisement. Look at this, per this uh, chart. We are very different from the old brand. We have the authentic value and no cost constraint made in excellent craftsman town, and we have the partnerships for, with the factories, and we sell direct. 
I searched Factory two and a half years ago and have visited to examine over 300 factories and I selected the best factories. Now we have ex exclusive contract with the best factories and they, they have the experiences to, to produce the auto couture for the world's top brand. So the name of factory has been written under the factory's name. We partner with the factories all over Japan and now we are functioning as a business hub for them. This is Isetam. It's both the highest sales among the world's department stores. We got the space next to Chanel and Armani store and set the Guinness record as the highest sales in a day. Forbes Japan published four page special article on me as a brand innovator. CEO of the CEOs of the prominent, uh, pro prominent companies are wearing Factor's prod products. We receive access from over 100 countries now, and the, our sales are four times, uh, are growing four times every year. This year, we are starting global expansion. We make the local craftsmen happy and bring smile to our customer. Even listening to our story today, we will buy the product of, uh, of that brand, Factoria creates the new authentic value. Thank you. Yeah, Oscar uh, Thank you for the good presentation. But the well-known brands, uh, you <laughs> I did not know the product itself were very cheap. I did not know. Thank you for letting me us know. So Factaria uh, pursues the highest quality products, and you provide that. Yes, no cost constraint, and that's our policy. Okay, I hope uh, many people will try it and find it out. Uh, thank you. That was Factoria. Don't know. Well, uh, let's go for the next, uh, the third interesting presentation. Money forward. Hello everyone. I'm honored to be here at Next Startup Commission today and also so excited to introduce Money Forward to you, the greatest people from all over the world. So first of all, I think everyone worries about money to some degree. Before I founded Money Forward, I had worked for online securities company for nine years. And now we have easy access to great financial products. However, we don't know how to utilize these products. So in fact, there are so many people who lose, who lose their money. So I, I wanted to create a user-oriented service which improve and help their financial situation. So I decided to found Money for Us three years ago. At that time, everybody says I'm crazy, and especially my wife. <laughs> so, first, so please take a moment to think about your own money. So as an individual, do you know how much you, you spend in this month? And how much your total asset you have? As an executive, do you know how much your, co your company sells now? How about profit, cost? So I believe like, every day we waste too much time to spend you know, tiny money, to think about tiny money things. So we money are here to solve these problem with cutting edge products. So money is number one FinTech 
FinTech means finance technology company startup in Japan in terms of scale and innovation. So we are providing B2C service and B2B services, the both. And here is the B2C service, our personal finance smartphone product. So please take a moment to look at our service. Cool, isn't it? Thanks. So we can aggregate, so users can aggregate their data from over eight, eight, 1,800 financial institutions, such as banks, credit cards, and pensions, so on. And once people register their information, the old data is collected automatically. So they can see their financial data in smartphone every day, every time. So. Manifold is selected as Google Play Best Application 2013 and 14, and with over 2 million users. Let's move on to another part, B2B. So we are providing MF Cloud platform, such as accounting, invoicing, payroll, and our user base passed over 200,000 users just in a, only one year since launch. And here is our product here. And please take a moment again to look at that a little quick. So the company's management can see their balance sheet, income statement, and cash flow, and so on. Very visible and very quickly. So all the data is collected automatically, so you don't need to put any more, I mean, the manual put. And this is all cloud. So you can see your data from anywhere, you know, anytime, and from any devices. So as a company, we receive several hours, such as UBC, US Embassy Award from US Kennedy, US Ambassador Kennedy son. I hope I wish I could you know, receive from John Lewis son. But. So, you know, in the near future, I strongly believe everything will become available in the smartphone and in the cloud. So our product is perfectly suited to that new world. Manifold will become number one fintech company in Asia and extend our product in US and in Europe. And everyone has our application in their smartphone and they can see how much they have and how, what they should do. And maybe in the future, your smartphone will advise you about your financial situation and what stocks you should buy. So we are manifold to create a future where people do not worry about money. And money should be a tool, just tool, to make people happy. People should use money for their life, for their family, and for the things they love. So we are entrepreneurs, so we don't wait for the future. We make future by ourselves. Thank you very much. Wow, actually, no, you are in a perfect fit no, with the no, tagline of the no, Japan Federation of the New Economy. Well, uh, you, uh, your attraction in terms of the no, customers, new customers, no, is so remarkable. What's the secret to it? Well, uh, keep an eye on the product, uh, nothing but that. So, you know, um, down to earth kind of efforts and in improving the product. That is why you have received lots of awards. I hope uh, you can get another award today. Hi. Okay, uh, let us continue. It's Reno Bell. Hello, Uzume. Hello, I'm Tomohiro Yamashita from Reno Bell. Uh, first, I would like to uh, show you a clip. has dominated Japan's housing market. But today, that myth is starting to crumble. 
Recently, contracts for the purchase and sale of used condominiums have reached record highs two years running. There are three major reasons why. 1. Resistance to use housing is weakening. 2. Prices for new condominiums are expensive. 3. The predominance of asset value. Unlike new buildings, there is no sudden drop in asset value with used properties that can be renovated. Enter Renoveru. Renoveru customers are typically in their 30s and 40s, a cohort that, as a rule, uses the web to obtain housing information. For this reason, Renoveru focuses on having proprietary web-based services on hand. Through partnerships with over 220 real estate agencies nationwide, we offer many properties tailored to client needs, posting images of hard-to-move real estate, old and pre-renovation properties suitable for renovation, on our website. The web also enables one-stop selection, design, and loan simulation for properties. But web services alone are a concern. Going beyond web matching and similar IT services, through our distinctive information network, our service brings together physical steps like design and construction that we then match with used properties. At Renoveru, coordinators assigned to each customer offer dedicated full support in creating a home. Meetings take place in showrooms where customers can experience renovation space at the same time. To meet each customer's range of requirements, we have partnerships with over 50 design and construction experts nationwide. This provides a wide lineup for choosing materials for walls, flooring, and other areas, as well as design. Buy housing for two-thirds the cost of a new home. Use the one-third you save to enjoy life on your own terms. With services of this kind, the list of Renovetter users is growing each year. At Renovetu, we know that happiness begins with homes tailored to the specific needs of our customers. Thank you. Japan is very rich in fashion and who. But when it comes to houses, things are quite the opposite. These are the houses that can be bought with 50 million yen or 400,000 American dollars uh, around the world. In Chicago, uh, you can get a big kitchen, living room, and even a comfortable balcony in your bedroom. In France, you can buy a whole bedroom with two garage house. In Indonesia, you can buy a house like a resort hotel. But in Tokyo, you can only buy houses as wide as a car. <laughs> Just a little bigger the dog gas. <laughs> it will cost a lot if you make these houses like in Chicago, France, and Indonesia. If you utilize used houses, we can provide wonderful houses even in Japan. Compared to the other nations, we can see that Japan is behind in the housing market. It is around 13%. Currently in Japan, the value of used homes is changed and is becoming a big market. According to Japanese government, the market size of used houses, which grow twice the size between 22 to 2020. Renobel is number one to share for private housing in the innovation market. Here are a few samples. We turn this into this. This into this. Before and after. 
with our, our customer, you will naturally smile when you own a wonderful house with our service. We hope to make more people smile. Thank you for your time. Uh, well, you're a true entrepreneur. Even with a trouble problem, uh, you didn't, it didn't uh, stop you. Uh, while I was watching photos, uh, it wasn't just uh, in photos uh, that the changes have been brought between before and after. When the doors open, many people are really surprised. So your clients uh, must be very pleased and uh, willing to introduce their friends. And I hope uh, we will have more of them. Thank you. It was uh, Renobel. The next presenter is Rinkak. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting us and allowing us time to give this presentation. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to introduce the sum of 3D print, printed products. It's called Sumisaya case. It's a collaboration product of uh, traditional katana soft craftsmanship and modern 3D printing techniques. This cutting edge product was produced by our platform. Our platform, Linkac, enables everyone to make anything by manufacturing partner around the world. Linkac strives to democratize the publication world. Uh, my name is Masaiko Inada. I'm the CEO of Kabuki Inc. Um, that's, now let's start with the uh, problem people face in publication process. On the maker side, uh, firstly, makers have inventory risks. And secondly, initial investment in molds costs a lot of money. And finally, minimum order sizes with manufacturers. On the factory side, firstly, many machines have a lot of downtime. And secondly, says people waste of hours of time having to do uh, manual cultivation work. And finally, operators also waste our time doing checks and modifications of three ladders. Both makers and factories uh, face these problems. So our goal is to provide a solution for both makers and factories in order to reduce the risk and cost and bring new opportunities to the publication world. Uh, this is our market. Um, as you can see, the digital publication industry market size is quite big. We aim at gaining strong market share at this domain. Um, let, let me move on to our product for makers. Makers can easily upload the 3D data through the web, and then LinkAC automatically generates the quotes, and then the maker sets their profit margin and it is routed into our system to be sold on the marketplace or prototype very easily. On the maker side, we provide three main functions. One, first is access to our global manufacturing network to reduce the delivery cost in real time. And second, oh sorry, uh, is Japanese finish work to finalize products using quality Japanese finishing. And third, is access to our API for web app and app developers. That's our product for makers. And uh, let me move on to our product for factories. Factories receive orders through our internet-based order system and then making it to manage man manufacturing process and the, their, very, their products very efficiently. Um, on the factory side, we provide the three main functions. First is our cloud-based manufacturing ELP to improve the efficiency of manufacturing. Second is our e-manufacturing solution, so any factories can stop internet-based manufacturing service. And third is Ringax 3D printing and partner program 
in order to make profits by converting audience from ring tech. That's our service for both makers and factories. Uh, let me, uh, let's take a look at our business model. On the maker side, we take 30% sales commission by order. On the factory side, we uh, get 3% for production commission by, by order and also ID subscription. Uh, let me move on to our growth. As you can see, in the last three months, we have increased the number of partner factories and also upload products. And now we provide worldwide distributed manufacturing network. Um, many major makers and other clients use our platform as well as individual makers from all around the world. And their products were um, manufactured in local factories. Our service has high scalability and also high production flexibility compared to other competitive players. Uh, our management teams come from artificial intelligence background, also are measuring in hardware and software. And I am, have received many employment awards, such as Canis Lion Award, and also our CTO is a uh, Google Developer Expert. And now, our RIMCAC democratizes the publication world. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Yeah. Wow. What an intelligent presentation you have just made. Artificial intelligence background you have, and that is one, a perception, so sophisticated, but uh, you have met like so many you know, factories, and uh, that means you know you have to go beyond just your intelligence, how you're manage, managing all these uh, the factories. Actually, I'm from the Higashi, Osaka, eastern part of Osaka. I'm quite happy in working you know, in the crawling style. I see. So on the down to earth, and that kind of approach is what makes me happy. Just technology alone is not what makes me success. I am with your intelligence and uh, the you know, hard work and being connected. I have no intelligence. Well, come on. That was a presentation by Winkaku. It's very exciting. Uh, next. Pop slide. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So let me start my presentation. So now we are working in the Philippines and Indonesia, and as you may know, that market is booming in this year, especially smartphone, smartphone, smartphone. Yes, everybody are addicted to use smartphone because of the very, very cheap smartphone. So everybody can buy smartphone already because it's quite cheap. See, around the 500 million people are expected to have smartphone in this coming three years. Today, I'd like to explain the smartphone user's journey in the emerging countries. John often communicates with his girlfriend by using chat application. And I love you, I miss you, and then, oh, what happened? Oh my gosh, it's offline. I can't send my love message to my girlfriend. Why? Because he's using prepaid phone. So after using his mobile balance, he can't access internet. So in fact, it's very common. 95% mobile users in emerging countries are using prepaid phone. That's why this is very common problem. So after using mobile balance, they often go to buy to shop to buy the prepaid balance and then connect to internet again, but soon. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I need to buy a balance again, again, again. It's so annoying, right? So everybody would like to connect internet. We, are ne we need internet. But it's quite expensive for emerging countries, right? So that's why we invented Pop Slide. See, whenever you use your smartphone, 
you can find plenty of amazing images on your lock screen. So like uh, advert advertisement, the application, job offers, news, and so on. And this is just like a magazine. You can find plenty of articles and uh, offers and so on. Okay, let's swipe here. Wow, cool. You can get points easily, just only swiping. Again, only swiping, you can get points, little by little, day by day. Okay, let's swipe left side. And then, you can go to install web page on the application, or you can go to landing page of the website. And also, you can see Wow, it looks so yummy, right? <laughs> so after watching this video, you can get points easily. Okay, let's go to application. You can find plenty of missions on this page to get more points. And this is a history page. And also after getting many points, you can convert from points to mobile balance from here. Okay, today I'll get 15 pesos put my number and read in. That's all. <laughs> Congratulations. We can get mobile balance for free, very easy. So, we are already covered all mobile operators in the Philippines and Indonesia, and we are achieved number one ranking in both countries. So we have more than 500,000 users, and lock screen views is also over 300 million. We have pro already provided more than 10 terabytes of mobile data, and applications from clients are already downloaded more than 700,000. Our client is McDonald's, Unilever, Nestle, Intel, Lazada, and CNN, also our uh, partners. So, we already started Philippines and Indonesia pop slide, and then we'll start these countries for the next coming 1.8 billion, right? For 1.8 billion is our next market. But of course, uh, they don't have smartphone yet. But I'm sure they will get it soon because of the super cheap smartphone, yes. It's already affordable. It's very easy to buy it already for the people, but still offline. They can't access internet, but they have smartphone, right? It's not smart, but they really would like to connect internet. So that's why we will provide free mobile internet. How? Like TV. Everybody can enjoy TV program for free. It's almost the same system. So, you know, two-thirds of the world is not connected to the internet. Imagine, if everybody can connect internet for free, what happens? I believe that the world will be changed drastically. Internet is the opportunity, and opportunity can change their life. So that's why mobile internet for the next billion will be change the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Japanese entrepreneur is really picking up the major issue in Asian nations. I'm very proud of you. And today we have investors from uh, US as well too. Uh, do you get the, uh, we welcome the investment investors from Asia or from the U.S., uh, the money doesn't have any specific color, so we'll welcome any investors. Thank you very much. Now we're moving to the last mile. I'm Yaskane, CEO of Ratsu. I'm uh, very honored to be here today and uh, let you know, uh, let you all uh, know 
but are very unique and uh, maybe only in the world business. So, um, change the structure, make the world a better place. This is our corporate mission. Our basic business model is um, printing e-commerce using the sharing economy. Uh, this is our portal site, uh, start from 2013 uh, May. Uh, the customer order the uh, printing product, uh, like a business card or flyer or brochure or booklet or a calendar uh, through internet, and uh, they make their data by themselves and update to us. And uh, we don't produce by ourselves uh, because we don't have any factory. We have more than 1,000 um, printing uh, company network in Japan, and we assign the uh, job to the light printing company so for the customer, uh, the biggest benefit is a uh, low price, uh, almost taste, uh, the lowest price uh, we can offer, and the clear price and high quality. Uh, and for the uh, printing company, uh, the biggest uh, problem for them is uh, low utilization. Uh, they don't, uh, w uh, the printing machine doesn't work well because they don't, don't get enough job. So uh, when we make contract, uh, we guarantee some of the utilization rate, and also we also uh, offer cut down material costs by um, gathering patches and uh, cut down uh, operating costs uh, by consulting. Uh, this is our uh, historical com consumer base. Uh, during uh, in this year, our, our customer base uh, get to be fivefold in a year. Uh, consumer reach uh, 110,000. Most of our uh, main clients are like a restaurant, beauty salon, or fitness club, uh, very local business SME. Uh, this is our um, data uh, we get. Uh, as you understand, uh, it's very Papa Mama shop. But in Japan, there is more than 3 million Papa Mama shop. Uh, so uh, Google does not help this type of local business marketing efficiency. Uh, this is a list, uh, ranking of uh, Google revenue, uh, where they come. Uh, the first is finance insurance, and second, restaurant, general merchandising, uh, travel tourism, jobs, and education, home garden, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so most of them are sales of goods, or a reservation, or a contract. They don't, uh, they don't support uh, local business, uh, like a service business. Lux has changed local business marketing uh, using Fraya, very ordinary, uh, traditional type of marketing tool. Uh, at first, we offer uh, the design by using the cloud sourcing. Uh, you enter the um, form, uh, what type of design you want to uh, get and they confirm it, and uh, you can get, uh, after five days, uh, you can get uh, four types of design, and but uh, each, each one uh, will work the best, uh, you don't understand. So we can offer another um, product. Uh, this is a voting system, uh, so by using the um, cloud sourcing, so a thousand uh, cloud sourcing member uh, vote each one is uh, uh, most uh, attractive. So uh, A get uh, 50 percentage of uh, uh, crowd member. So you can choose A uh, before you print. Uh, so and uh, also we offer, of course we offer printing because we are printing guy, uh, but uh, we also offer uh, uh, distribution. Uh, there's a two type of distribution way. Uh, one is putting flyer into the mailbox directory, uh, the posting man, uh, guy uh, putting a flyer directory, and the second is a uh, flyer in a newspaper. Uh, in this case, uh, we choose the second one, uh, the uh, no, first one, putting flyer into the mailbox. Uh, at first, uh, this is a Google map, and uh, uh, you enter the, your address and the, uh, how many seats uh, do you want. Uh, distribute, and uh, you can choose the date uh, of distribution. And so uh, I enter uh, this hotel address, and there are 5,000 seats. Uh, so we calculate uh, about 5,000 houses around here uh, by district. And, and uh, uh, so and uh, we 
can uh, calculate the price, and uh, uh, also you can modify the very detail, uh, like this, cut this area and add this area. Uh, so all you need uh, is several clicks. You can um, do marketing very easily. Uh, we offer design as cloud, uh, using cloud sourcing, and uh, we, uh, we, uh, we can show the most effective uh, printing uh, design, and we offer printing, and uh, we also offer delivery. Uh, this is a one-stop service. Uh, we have uh, redesigned old marketing tool to support SMEs. That's it. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I'm Matsuma-san. Thank you indeed, I'm Matsuma-san. Listening to your presentation, you go beyond just you know improving uh, the utilizations of the idle machines of the printers, but also you are helping SME guys uh, in terms of the you know, marketing uh, the activities. In other words, you know, you're offering solutions. Wow, how wonderful. You have grown 5x in one year. And uh, OK, I'm going to aim at another 5x in another 12 months. Uh, sounds like TV commercial. Wow, that is so cool. Hi. OK, we have two more. Uh, let us continue. Icon. Internet services have pushed various industries to the next stage of evolution. For example, Rack 10 refined retails, Spotify refined music streaming. What about fashion? We think fashion industries, especially fashion media business, is still stuck in the last century. There are 100 kinds of magazines in Japan, and girls still buy them. As you know, magazines are not published every day, are not free. Sometimes they can be heavy. Our service, Icon, changed the way girls access fashion content in place of magazines. Today, Icon has 2 million users in Japan, and it's the only fashion app to receive the best application from both Apple and Google. With Icon, users can access fashion contents in two ways. One is viewing fashion editorial contents. The other is by viewing user-generated fashion collages. Editorial contents are created by fashion magazine. Our editing team edits magazine contents for Icon. This page will look like this. Users can access fashion trends by reading these contents. When users want something to buy, they can access the Icon Fashion Database. This database contains data about 4 million fashion items from 70 shopping websites. Each item 
has link back to shopping site. When uh, we get commissions from these shopping sites, when users buy something via icon, and the user also bookmark fashion item by tapping like button. When bookmark item have a drop in price or about to run out of stock, icon will notify users. By using these fashion images, user can create fashion classes as well. User pick the items and arrange them the way they like and publish. These fashion classes help the user discover the latest fashion trend. Icon is also used for brand advertising. We began running native ads last October. Since then, we have acquired 100 clients, such as Dio, Diesel, and Sado. We try to be the best platform that connects users and fashion brands. Thank you for your time, that's all. Thank you. こんなもう普及しちゃってあのファッション雑誌さんあの売れなくなっちゃうじゃないですかいらなくなっちゃわないそういうわけではないそういうわけではないやっぱ新しいパートナーシップを作ってるってことですねそうですね先ほどのプレゼン uh, uh, That's not gonna happen、uh, Even with the popularity We do receive contents from fashion magazines So we will coexist And we re-edit for smartphone And so users So you are creating a new ecosystem And、uh, you have about 70 shopping sites、uh, working with you. How are they receiving this? I think、uh, very popular.、Uh, certain shopping sites, they say that the,、uh, more than one quarter of their mobile traffic comes from us. And I hope many people use that. Thank you very much. It was Icon. Oh, last one, Scott. Well,、uh, last presentation, right. Last presentation is D free. Good morning, everyone. I'm Yuki Aoyama from Triple W. Thank you for this opportunity. And let me ask you one quick question What are the most important things that you can't lose in your life? Trust, friendship, or access to the internet? We Triple W have our answer to the question, and we also have the solution. Please watch a short movie. Sorry, it doesn't work. I think there is a technology problem. Can you change the switch? Reset. Reset. This happens in our live or the live event, and、uh, again, this could be one of the you know, fun factors. In the meantime, judges, this is going to be the last presentation. Well,、uh, I think、uh, you can use the time、uh, to write down your score of all the presentations we have already received, and also、uh, I think、uh, we need to receive some feedbacks from the audience. and、uh,
Now, after you have received the DF representation, of course, uh, you'll be asked to pick up on the best presentation as far as you are concerned. Please think about it. Okay, shall we start from the beginning? Why not? You know, the last singer, of course, in the Indian olden days, and her is, of course, you know, Misora Hibari, uh, the Japanese singer, but uh, this time it is D3. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> We've all experienced that urgency. People with disabilities that need ample preparation time to go to the bathroom, the elderly, people with bowel dysfunctions, it can happen to anyone. We want to solve these problems with a simple device. It's called D-Free, and it's a wearable device that lets you know when you need to go to the bathroom. It lets you know before you even realize it. It even comes with an app that notifies you. When you go outside with D-Free, D-Free will notify you when it's time for a bathroom break. You'll have plenty of time to find a bathroom and accommodate your needs. No rushing required. Every time you go to the bathroom, D-Free will take note of it. It will learn about your lifestyle to give you more accurate notifications. D-Free helps you to take back control of your life. You'll no longer feel stressed about unpredictable bowel movements. You'll feel safer knowing the notifications will become more accurate over time. And now, you can make time for your favorite activities. The most important thing for our life is human dignity. That's what we believe. D3 is a solution we can offer to the society. D3 is a small, wearable device which lets you know when you need to go to the bathroom. It comes with an application of smartphones, including iOS and Android. One of the innovations is its simple structure. The current medical equipment used in hospitals has more than four ultrasound probes, but D3 has only one in order to see through internal organs, such as bladder and intestine, with much less electricity. This innovative technology enables us to make D3 extraordinarily small and wearable at low cost. As some of you may know, Japan is a uh, country who invented the ultrasonic technology and the forerunner of the aging society issues. Meaning, we have the tool, the resource, and the reason to offer the solution for the global aging society. Of course, we are aiming at a global market, but we first enter Japan market because we can see a huge potential market here. By 2020, more than one in four will be elderly in Japan. Here is our plan to develop a D-free market in Japan. Step one is already in process. We've been developing a prototype for self-operating users, some of who don't have an inclination of difficult, in particular, the patients of spinal cord injury and Parkinson's disease. Step two, we will offer D-free to the care facilities such as hospitals and nursing homes. Step three, we will market D3 to the public as a total health management tool. Let me give you some more idea about step three. Most wearable devices monitor humans' input data. These data are closely related to humans' bowel conditions. D3 can automatically record humans' output 
so that D3 can provide more informative feedback. Added to this, uh, we are, uh, we, we're gonna create a biomonitor platform with D3 during the first couple of years. Then uh, I hope that people can use D3 in order to pre-examine their health conditions like a thermometer before going to the hospitals. I'm sure you can see D3 has a billion dollar potential. And please excuse me telling you about uh, my personal story. I live with my grandfather who is 93 years old and is really respected by all family members. He has become disabled walking himself and two years ago I faced his fecal incontinence. I took care of him at that time and I found he humiliated himself and he looked really depressed. I was sorry for him and I wish I could give him something like D3 much earlier. This personal experience of mine has been pushing forward me with this project. Thank you for your listening to my pitch. Um. Sorry, you bumped into a big problem, and uh, you were able to uh, complete your presentation so successfully. I was so I was so impressed with the presentation. Well, uh, before you launched the official product, well, you know, um, beta customers and alpha customers, and if I want to go for it, I like to use it. And uh, do you think I can recommend this to my friends and acquaintances? And do you think I can do that? Well, the you know, uh, cloud and you know, funding uh, is going to actually start receiving the you know, orders in advance. And uh, again, it's very important for me you know, to you know, let this product know you know, to you know, those you know, challenge, challenge people and the hospi uh, hospitals and the nursing homes. And I think you know, it will be the very important uh, the audience you know, for the better offering. Well, and high expectation. That was a free presentation. Thank you. So that was the last presentation. Boy, that went through very fast. I'm going to change to English. All the nine presentations are done. So how was it? Do you like it? OK, good, good, good. OK, more serious question. As any companies, you are interested in investment. So, I know, to, if you find any companies you wanted to invest, please raise your hand. In some of these companies, please raise your hand. Not commitment, not commitment. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So, uh, hello, judges. Um, have you finished filling your forms? Considering? Okay, okay, okay. So I assume that no influence uh, to that judge uh, results. Then I would ask the poll. So nine presentations you have seen, and uh, please clap your hand. So I, I tell you the, num uh, the service name, and please clap your hand. And only once, only once, you can clap your hand. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I, uh, by show of hands, or I should say by applause, uh, if you could uh, clap your hands uh, of just one, uh, because all the judges have already completed their evaluation. So we're going to go through nine presentations. First one. Kaizen platform, how many of you think uh, they got the, they want? Kaizen platform is the best. Okay, I have to make sure I pronounce them right. Factorie, uh, how many people thought Factorie was the best? Hi. About the same. The third is 
money forward. Oh, a little bit bigger. Now let's move on to the fourth one. Reno Bell. Uh, he's the best. Number one. Uh, please clap your hand. Okay. Okay. Next, Rinkak. Uh, how many of you think that the Rinkak was the best? Okay. So you want to go money for the word? Uh, so far, money for word. Uh, uh, once again, this is independent of the judge's uh, evaluation. Eto, pop slide. How about pop slide? It's the best, number one. Please grab it. Wow! Pop slide! Come on! Sugoi desu ne, watashi wa. Maybe I mentioned about the investors. Okay, next, Raxel. Raxel is the number one. Please clap your hand. Raxel. Raxel is the number one. Okay, Okay, moving on. The last two. Icon. Uh, that the fashion magazine. Icon. Okay. The last one. D3. Is a number one. Uh, please clap your hand. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I know we can't uh, make the winners uh, decide the winners here, but the D3 and Pop Slide uh, seems to be the two big ones. Okay. Well, you have to clap again. Uh, either D3 or Pop Slide. How many of you think the Pop Slide was the best uh, of the two? So you have to choose one of the of the two. Uh, how many of you think the Pop Slide was really good? Thank you. Next, uh, D3. The D3 is a winner. Uh, please clap your hand. Hi. Uh, I didn't tell you. I have a hard of hearing, so I can't tell. But it seems like uh, both of them are very strong contenders. And uh, as a prize, I will teach them how to put on kimono later. So is the scorecards all collected? Okay. Henshin. Back to English. Let me take comments from judges. Okay. But the judge chair, uh, Kumagai san would uh, provide the comment at award ceremony. So uh, so let me take the comment from Fujita-san. Fujita-san, Fujita-san, uh, Fujita uh, if you could give us a comment on today's competition, uh, let us hear your what you thought. And uh, the companies who participated in this contest in the final version are very well recognized startup companies in Japan. So I thought I knew their activities, but I was surprised to find out new aspects of the activities. I really enjoyed them. So many discoveries. Uh, and I'm sure that the uh, all of us had many discoveries and new findings. How about uh, Mr. Roos? Uh, what do you think about this today's uh, competition and presentations? Well, I'll tell you, uh, I want to congratulate all the contestants. I was blown away by the quality of the companies. Uh, I started an ambassador's award when I first came to Japan. And now that I see the level of competition of the startups here in Japan, it's truly amazing how far these companies have come. And I encourage all the entrepreneurs to uh, plow forward with these companies. And I know it's diplomatic to say but I don't think there was just one winner today. I think there are all winners. Totemo impressive data to you, Godesne. Arigato Gaimas. Thank you very much.
Um, actually, I was pretty impressed. Good. Um, obviously, seeing a lot of the startup in Silicon Valley and coming here, I was really impressed with their presentation <laughs> and how much they practice presenting in English. Um, and they had a quite a bit of attraction. Um, uh, as, as a founder of a woman's startup lab, I would like to see a uh, woman in the future. You're right, so right, right, I already right. tweeted yeah. and yeah, posted so. on a Facebook to women that starts now. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of uh, good uh, mentors, advisors mm -hmm. now up ahead for them. So I look forward to see a diversity in yeah. the future. So I'm going to visit you to run and transfer the, your knowledge and practice to this country. Okay. I look forward to yeah. it. Uh, you are not a Joseno incubator. No. She is a pioneer in the women's incubator. Uh, she wanted to see more of the female uh, presenters, and she wanted to help uh, women uh, entrepreneurs. Thank you. Well, on the first general convention, um, uh, I'm so impressed. And I appreciate for the best efforts, and you have to speak in English. But that said, uh, I think uh, not too many on the, on the pictures and vision, and uh, you lack in the business model explanation. So now all these pictures are fine, but actually, and how those things are going to be translated into the, the business practices, and uh, you know what is going to what makes you believe that we are going to have the winner compared with the, uh, the competition or competitors? I think and, uh, that's been lacking in all the presentations. And lastly. And uh, now going forward, you know, based upon uh, your you know, uh, logical thinking and uh, to what extent uh, you are going to grow, I don't think uh, you have done a good uh, enough job in this regard. Because, you know, you have to give us uh, attractive information so that uh, we are willing to actually put our money uh, into uh, your uh, hands. Uh, you know, now, you, know, you have to actually, uh, actually, uh, you could have actually improved your presentations with this one in mind, and again, uh, making us, you know, wanting to put our money out of the pocket into your hand. But again, five or six years ago, situations are so bad. I think you have come a long way. That's right, the vision and also the numbers. I think that's what you're talking about in a very specific manner. Hi. I was very impressed by all the presentations. Thank you so much. Um, I felt that not only did I see some really amazing and innovative things, but I also learned, learned quite a bit about the Japanese market and how it's different from the U.S. Uh, for example, everyone in the U.S. lives in used housing, mm -hmm. uh, where that's not the case here. Um, I also really wanted to compliment uh, PopSlide and uh, DeFree for their presentation style. Mm. Um, PopSlide was very funny. And it's always great to share a personal anecdote, which is mm. what um, the CEO of DeFree did. So that was, that was great. Mm. Um, like David, I wish I had seen more about the business models and business the revenue um, to understand a little bit more mm. about how big the market mm. is mm. and how much potential there is. Market potential, scalability. Market potential and scalability in the business model and I've been lucky. Um, but on um, PopSlide and uh, Jeff Lee's um, the, in a presentation, oh, Jess Lee and actually in a liked in her PopSlide presentation. Yes, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, David. Yes, th so thank you and congratulations to everyone. Um, it, it, it's always amazing to, to, and stressful to pitch a business, but to do it in someone else's language is sort of in, in <laughs> inconceivable to me, so I'm very incredibly impressed. Um, uh, Jess mentioned this, this uh, the final presenter was uh, almost apologetic about giving the story of why he had created this company. Mm. And, and, uh, and I have to say, as you heard, in the panel earlier, we care as investors about the people who are starting businesses and why they're starting businesses. Mm. So I would have liked to hear a lot more about mm. why each of these businesses got, its, mm. got started. Mm. Why did you choose to create mm. the business? What problem mm. you think it's mm. solving? Mm. Um, and I think that would have helped mm. us to understand mm. why you're passionate mm. about your mm. business and, why the, and why, how the mm. business came mm. to be. Mm. Um, but congratulations, I, I, I think there are lots of great businesses getting started, and it's amazing to see businesses that have mm. a million, two mm. million users mm. Uh, mm. And, and just getting, getting going. So um, I look forward to seeing these companies in the future. Thank you. Why, why now you are doing your own business, and that's been lucky according to him. Well, thank you again for your comment. Uh, yes, I, I want to echo the other judges' comments that I was very impressed with just the caliber of the people who uh, presented today and the ideas that were brought. 
Um, and again, also, as someone who's spoken Japanese only in my house, uh, the, the quality of their English was much better than my Japanese, and so I'm, I'm very impressed with their presentation mm. from that point of view as well. Um, as a, a greedy venture capitalist, um, one, one of the things that I would really love to have seen was uh, more, more thoughts on you know, world domination. And so domination. You know, I, I believe that there are really great, ambitious companies here, and uh, not, not apologizing for that, that vision and that desire to take over the world with their idea. Um, I believe that there's potential for, for a global company to come out of, the, uh, out of Japan. And one of these startups could be that. But they didn't really present that story. Mm. Um, the second is echoing what, what David said, which was I really wanted to hear more about the, the entrepreneur themselves. Uh, there were only a handful of startups that actually talked about who they were and what their backgrounds were. Aye. And to me, that's, that's probably the first thing I want to see. Mm. Mm. And so um, mm. I, I think adding that to the pitch Aye. would actually really complete the story for me. Thank yeah. you. Um, why? People talk to know why uh, you actually started your business. That's one thing. And another point is that, um, well, you know, well, you have to be ambitious enough and uh, to conquer the world, uh, to change the world, the global market. I think that's the kind of passion I think, and uh, she wanted to uh, get the frame presentation. Thank you indeed. I mean, first of all, um, I think this is a very important first step in the sense that everyone had to pitch in English here, and that kind of resembles the mindset of many of these companies. And like the other judges, I was I was um, like really surprised by the stages of these companies. I mean, usually when you have a pitching competition, you have a company that may have maybe like a couple of tens of thousands of users, and here there were companies that already have millions. So that was really surprising. It was refreshing to see a totally different kinds of companies that you see in the West, like solving problems rising from here. So I'm really looking forward to what will come out of these companies. But I mean, thank you for the great pitches. It was a pleasure. The, uh, the founder of the Slash uh, thought that these are good pitches, and I thought it was a very successful event then. I'd love to thank every single entrepreneur who went on stage to present because, um, first off, presenting in front of so many people is already scary enough, but they were so brave enough to present in a different language and major props to them. Um, but I was just so inspired by seeing how, when they spoke, they had so much passion in their eyes, and um, I wish them all the best of luck. I think they're all working on something very special and, and, and unique in their different marketplace. Um, but I had an idea. I thought this would be a really cool reality show or some sort of contest show um, that we could pro probably or maybe I can produce in the future. So uh, this ga also gave me a lot of good ideas, too. So I hope that um, this inspires more ideas uh, and also future entrepreneurs here in Japan. So she is a charismatic uh, YouTuber, so she uh, really focused on the good content. Uh, her focus was very good. And I also want to thank everybody for good presentations. I think uh, one common thing is that the consumers and suppliers and uh, factories and uh, makers, and I think that they really uh, try to connect people's what they are thinking and their feelings and thoughts, and they are connecting them with technology. I think that this connection is very important for entrepreneurs. It's a very simple idea, but I think uh, that was a common theme throughout. So it is a bit difficult to choose just one, pick one out of the, all these uh, candidates. So connecting, uh, connection is the key word. Thank you. So Mr. Higuchi, uh, I was uh, listening to them at the, with two criteria. One is the uh, impact uh, and also the vision for the future. And uh, most uh, presenters uh, really meet these two criteria. One impressionable uh, point is that the, some of the presenters uh, felt that the, they have a huge respect to the uh, asset we have in society, craftsmanship by Factoria, Rax Printing, and others. So uh, pro working with them and providing business partnering uh, with them, and that's a sustainable 
or solution. I thought I thought it was a very good uh, vector they are trying to create in the morning. Uh, fashion, fanaticism, and other factors were mentioned in the morning earlier session, and I think all presenters had all these three elements. So partnership uh, as well. So Hirano-san, please. And uh, all the participants, uh, thank you for your good jobs. And I really enjoyed uh, presentations. One point I felt is that the in this kind of event, uh, why are you attending this? I think you should really think about it, uh, its objectives. And in my mind, uh, to get the investors and get customers and also find business partners. Uh, these are specific objectives uh, you should have clearly in your mind. And that way, uh, you can put together a presentation with a clear message uh, for those objectives. I know entrepreneurs, uh, they want to win. Uh, now, even if you get the prize, the first place, uh, you don't have the guaranteed success in your business. Important thing is to uh, succeed in your business. So uh, identify, focus on the persons you want to appeal to and uh, so that you can win uh, what you are here for. And so competition itself is not the purpose. And this is a means. So use that uh, for your specific uh, means. So that was good advice. So how are we doing with time? Uh, uh, no response. That means I have to do something more to spend time. And uh, I shouldn't be doing all the talking. I think the presenters are the really the heroes and heroines. And uh, is there any question from the presenters to uh, one of the judges? Uh, if there is anybody, please raise your hand. <laughs> it was very old, uh, very sudden. No, no particular question. Maybe I can ask questions then instead. May I? Okay. Today uh, we have presentation in the, from fashion industry. Uh, Jess, I have a question. Area and uh, a few companies are present uh, to the, the fashion businesses. Do you have any specific comments on that? So I think a lot of people often underestimate the size of the market for mm. businesses targeted at women. Mm. Um, women are 50% of the population, therefore 50% mm. of customers. And in particular, in consumer, on the consumer side of things, um, women control about 80% of purchasing power in the household. So I do think that investing in businesses targeted women, so fashion, beauty, home decor, um, is actually a great investment mm -hmm. decision. Those are areas where I think there's been a lack of innovation over the years, because uh, partly because a lot of entrepreneurs and leaders are, uh, business leaders are men and don't think about that customer as often. So it's been really exciting to see uh, more of that happen, um, both in the US and here in, in Japan. Mm -hmm. Very informative. Okay, uh, I will uh, maybe uh, share with you what she said later as well. I hope you got some points. So it is a very interesting uh, sector, market segment. So can I move on to the next stage? Okay. Okay, seems like uh, we got the tallying completed. So uh, announcement of the results uh, is what we're going to have. Uh, the head of the judge, Mr. Kumagai, Kumagaya, uh, please. Well, uh, then a third prize, right? If I'm allowed to take this moment you know, to thank you know, all the presenters and also the judges, and also I should not forget to you know, thank you know, your excellent uh, mothership and uh, Honjo san. Without further ado, I'd like to make the following announcement.
NES uh, startup competition. The third prize would go to no, Triple Double Japan Company Limited. G3, please, congratulations. D3, uh, the person, would you please come up onto the stage? Congrats again. The plaque has just been presented to him. Maybe you can give us your feelings. Just comments, please. I'm so honored to give this uh, prize. Thank you indeed. Uh, this prize, of course, makes me so happy. I'm so honored. But uh, besides this, well, look at the people around you. And actually, you, know, you may have you know, friends you know, who may you know, have to go for the you know, artificial uh, the, uh, you know, you know, system and uh, think about you know, uh, uh, my product, G3. Congratulations. Again, uh, please, stay on the, uh, please stay on the stage. The second prize, please. Yes. The second prize, uh, Renobel Company Limited, uh, service product, Renobel, please, congratulations. Renobel, please come onto the stage. This is the second prize I'm going to Renobel, and uh, Mr. Yamashita is just about to receive the plaque. And also 3,000 yen, this uh, money also is going to be presented to him. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Mishra, would you please share uh, your feelings right now? Thank you indeed. I appreciate it. And actually, you know, English is not my you know, you know, weapon, and uh, I was quite nervous. But I do believe that you know, you know, Japanese and how this you know, should be you know, further improved. I think uh, we, sh you know, we should be able to have access to the uh, prettier and more beautiful and the more higher quality in all the you know, houses in Japan. Thank you again. Mr. Mr. Please on to, uh, stay on the stage. And finally, uh, the Grand Prix, the first prize. Mr. Kamarai, please. Allow me to announce the following. Next uh, startup competition. The uh, first prize would go to Yoyo Holdings, service product, Pop Slide. Congratulations. Congratulations from me now as well. Please come on to the stage. <laughs> This is uh, the Grand Prix in the first prize, and uh, first, please and accept this in plaque. And the winning money is going to be one million yen. And the second prize. Tech in Asia and Singapore in 2015. With this ticket, you can actually participate in Tech in Asia. Actually, you're going to be fully supported for your both. And from Tech in Asia, we have presenter David Coven to present this. Mr. Coven, please. more little prize. It's a Technesia t-shirt actually made by Factelier. Uh, I promise we didn't know Factelier was in the contest before we ordered this, uh, but please enjoy that as well.
Yes, uh, this is uh, the T-shirt made by the Factorier. And from the GMO Internet, uh, Konoha no by GMO no 3,000 yen a coupon. No? And also from the GMO, all the you know, payment, you know, PG global payment, and the initial cost, and also the you know, monthly fixed uh, the cost you know, for 12 months and cash back will be presented. Uh, presenter here is going to be Mr. Kumagaya. Congratulations again. Um, please share uh, your on um, the excitement, please, with us. I actually did not expect uh, to receive uh, this kind of award, as actually I am uh, uh, totally speechless, wordless. Thank you indeed uh, for the award. And that said, uh, of course, uh, my company is uh, Yoyo Holdings. And actually, we're not doing business at all here in Japan. For information, actually, all activities are carried out in the Philippines and uh, Indonesia and uh, Thailand. So now uh, we are actually having all these activities in outside of Japan. Well, uh, there are many Japanese uh, startup uh, the entrepreneurs, and uh, they would like to start and begin uh, in the uh, Japanese year. And then they would like to move beyond the Japan. There are so many people believing in this kind of model, but of course, I love Japan very, very much. Why? I am on the stage because uh, I wanted to uh, actually uh, have many people challenging themselves in outside of Japan, overseas, particularly when it comes to the Asian uh, markets. Actually, it is so exciting uh, in its totality. That is why I wanted to share uh, this message, with this feeling of mine with you. That is why I wanted to participate in this uh, in event. Please keep on me and going forward. Thank you again for this award. Startup competition, the first show. Congratulations once again to Pop Slide for the championship of the next competition, startup competition. Now I'd like to ask the head of the judge to give us the overall comment. I once again want to thank everybody who participated and also uh, participated as judges and uh, presenters and also the audience. I want to thank them all. And as the head of the judge, uh, I'd like to share with you some of my comments. The opening session had that the key for success of the ventures uh, in the com summary uh, said that this passion is very important. And timing is also important. And these were some keywords. And to catch the timing, the luck is also necessary. Uh, I think as entrepreneur, luck uh, comes from your actions and personality. That's my conviction. And in the sense that the for this kind of high-level pitch event and the Japanese ventures who are willing to participate in this, and I'm very encouraged. And I hope that the, these a very active ventures uh, will create the future of Japan. And as the Japan Association of New Economy to change Japan, we want to work with the, we need the startups which will change the future, will change the how society works. And we want to support them. That's why we had this uh, event and this year. And we hope uh, next year onward, we want to also come up with events to support these ventures which would change Japan. That's all. Thank you. Now, for the presentation videos, the Japan Association for New Economy will have a website featuring these videos. Now, presenters, uh, please uh, get back to your seat. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Honjo, thank you very much once again. Thank you.
with that, this stop competition is completed. And today, from we have Mr. Yamagiwa, who is the Vice Minister of uh, Ministry of Economy and Technology and Industry. Mr. Yamagiwa, please. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, once again, my name is Daishiro Yamagiwa. Uh, congratulations to this successful event of the New Economy Summit. And as I was uh, listening to the result of this competition and what Japan should be doing uh, have been actually taken up by venture companies. And I'd like to congratulate them for their endeavors, especially in Japan as the population is going to decline to activate our economy. We are challenged to uh, how we can successfully work with the markets abroad. And the venture companies are taking this situation not as a uh, negative, but as a good opportunity for them. And we hope to support them wholeheartedly. I understand that the Prime Minister Abe will be joining uh, this group later. Uh, Mr. Mikitani, the representative of Japan Association of New Economy. And with his idea, we created the Japan Venture Award. And the Prime Minister Abe will be giving the award himself to encourage the ventures in Japan and that uh, show uh, prize award represents the Abe government's uh, thoughts, feeling uh, for this area. And we hope uh, these new ventures will create many hints and leads to change Japan for the better. And so uh, as a mechanism, one of the mechanisms for incubation I think uh, this event is very meaningful. And we hope uh, they will be matched up with the investors and uh, successfully. Uh, with that wish, I'd like to conclude my uh, greetings. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Yamagiwa.